Hey everyone, I am at Verge Motorcycles and very special treat because I have the CEO Tuomo here with me. Yeah, hi. Tuomo, this is really exciting to see at a show CES. This is a little bit more unique than I normally see as far as electric motorcycles go. So can yep. you give us an introduction to the brand and why you started this company? Yeah, so we are, uh... As a company, we are making electric motorcycles. That, that is what we do. This is a new company made for that purpose only. We started uh, in uh, 2000, 2018. So and that was like crazy idea, yeah. em empty paper that what, what, what should electric motorcycles be? Like what, what, what is the basic thing to have or, or the deepest thing to have? And then that electri electricity is consumed uh, in the rear tire finally, because that is the minimum parts what we are having like moving parts and and as little maintaining as we can do and that is that is for the customer that is for the environment because there's no leaking oils because there's no no oil at all in the motor and so on so that is we have started that hey what is the what is the greatest we can do and then we started like hey that should be so that there's one moving part in the powertrain total and that is that is like the end game of motorcycle uh, powertrains then we made that hey how can we be on the words of what we can do with the motorcycles? And yeah, we are having this crazy motorcycle now here. This, <laughs> is, this, is, this is a product that what is showing that what we can do, what we are capable. And uh, let's say on the technical side, that is our motor technology. So we are not using anybody else's motor. So that is perfectly fitted to this purpose. And we are also making our own battery packs. And uh, we are having our own software there and we are manufacturing this also. So we are having like, and in Europe, we are selling straightly. In US, we are, we are finding out as a European company that how is the distribution done. But, but I can guess that the, we are following today's trends, let's say. <laughs> I'd say. So you're selling this right now in Europe? Yeah. So it, it's on the roads for people to ride all. Yeah, so now that it's winter time in Europe, so those are not actually on the road, but yeah, we, are, we have already delivered first unit last year so so yeah we, we are having hundreds of orders on queue and now we are delivering bikes and how much is a bike like this i know the pricing is going to be different from here yeah. in the US. yeah that cheapest model is uh, 26000 and uh, this ultra model is 45 so that is more or less same in us because euro and dollar is like on the same level so now now we are knowing that okay that is like from 26 to 45 and then there is options like like power and talk and so on so when do you see this being available in the u.s market i know you say you're kind of working on seeing what the distribution is going to look like but yeah and uh surely i'm not saying that this is a statement but this is what we are aiming for is that as as soon as late this year there's first units running in the u.s roads and that is that is a thing to do but uh, that is that is what we are aiming for and that is what we are doing very cool now Talking a little bit more about the technical specifications, how yeah. fast can this bike go? And I want to dive in a little bit more on the battery capacity, because you say you're doing this, a lot of this in-house. Uh, yeah. What's the size of the capacity of the battery that you have on this? Yeah, so that is so that we are having 20 kilowatt hour battery capacity. There are 400 volts. That is very low. They're packed on, uh, on the bottom. That is limited uh, 200 kilometers per hour. So that is in miles. Uh, that is something. Something to, uh, tra uh, to translate to U.S. U.S. customers. So that is limited 200 kilometers per hour. That 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 is surely capable for much more. But that is not what we are wanting to do because this is not the racing bike. This is a like a cruiser bike or yeah the, the cruising bike. So that is not made for that purpose to have highest highest speed. So what's the projected range on this 20 kilowatt hour battery? I know the standards in uh, Europe are based off the LTP yeah, cycle, yeah. so it's going to be a little bit different here. Surely, surely, especially on the motorcycles, when the uh, wind resistance is different if you are a big guy or small guy driving, so that is surely uh, having big difference. But we are talking that that is up to 400 kilometers or up to 333 miles. So that is what you can really do in the cities. So you are driving in the cities and not driving fast. And then if you are driving in the on the highway speeds, that is like half of that. That is what I have been driving 200 kilometers in, in roads in Finland with one battery. So that is really, uh, that, that is something you can do. 
So does this bike have, I see, it looks like it has software combined in here. What does that screen offer right on the Yeah, front so we are having, bike? we are having, uh, uh, on the other models, there's small screen here. This is having just new model having bigger screen here. And then there's battery information and all, all the information now here. And this is going to have uh, something more in the future because that is in-house software we're having here. So we can really do that all. And, and yeah. you, can, you can see what you have consumed. And, and later on, there's more coming, but we are not saying anything about that. Yeah. And is there any kind of integrated safety technology on here that's notable to point out? Uh, we are not uh, saying anything about that yet. <laughs> so, so that is like, yeah, sure, you can guess that there's a, we are already having a lot of sensors here. So that is, that is so much there that, hey, people are wanting something what is integrated to the helmet and some people are not wanting something what is in here, but there's ways to have feedback, audio, uh, vibration and all that and that is coming to motorcycles. And so with a product like this, we're seeing so many different players come into this marketplace. You've yeah. been around for a little while now, 2018 actually, yeah. that's pretty old considering for electric motorcycles. Yeah. What is the differentiator? Yeah, that, that is a good question. Surely we are having something like unique selling points, but that is that is one thing that yeah, we are having unique selling point that there's no, yeah, the powertrain is having one moving part. And yeah, can you just explain a little bit on how that works? Because this, to me, it was very visually eye-catching. Yeah, yes, it is. That is looking good, and that is looking uh, yeah. something I got to explain. I, I'm moving this bike a little so we can see how that moves. So this outer rim is rotating around this inner rim, which is not moving, like so. And on the other side, this is cooled from inside. And also between this rim and this motor, there's there's a gap in between, so that is cooled inside and outside. So there's no, no heat problem in rotor or stator. And that is really making it so that we can have continuous big power and that is not overheating. So this will propel you forward, but is there any kind of regenerative braking capability with this? Yeah, that is that can look at if, if we want to control it that way at any speeds, but we are just regenerating. And we are having this brake on the other side because that is legal legal reason for that. How we, heavy is a bike like this? Because that is in consideration while we're talking about braking, something that you want to be able to control yeah. with braking. Uh, that is so that this this is built to be 250 kilos. Uh, so that is like full size bike. So that is also when you ask that what, what we are wanting to be in the market. So we want to have a full size bike made in sustainable way. We are making this in Europe with European people. And uh, we want to be that way. And there's people who are wanting this kind of bike. Somebody's wanting cheap, we are not that one. But we are for the people who are wanting this responsible, uh, environmental friendly, sustainable bike. That is what we are having. And that is our point in the map that, hey, Word is like that. Is there any special materials that you're using in the construction here? Like, what is this made out of, aluminum or? Yeah, we are, we are making these frames in Finland, plastic parts in Finland. Uh, seats in Estonia and so on. So we are really wanting to control. Surely we are not 100% sure of every material, but as much as we can do as a company, we are really liking to tra trace that, hey, what is actually happening here? And, and, and that is the best we can do, that we, we are really wanting to be in control, that there's no things like, well, it's a dirty things I'm saying here, but there, there's dirty things somebody, some companies are, wanting to do but we are we are really wanting to be there that hey we can look at the eyes of the next generation and say that hey we did this for you there's no child labor there's no dirty things and maybe the next generation lung cancer or something noise things in the cities we are making better and that is what we are doing as a company but for the customer this is nasty buy yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely now, one last question is this is probably your first product, correct? So yeah. what does the future look like? <laughs> that, that is nice, that is nice. So let's say, let's say that way that we are capable to do our own battery packs on motorcycles. We can scale this motor every way. So you can guess that there's much more coming. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, that's very exciting. Yeah. Thanks for spending some time with us and yeah. enjoy the rest of CES. We look forward to hopefully getting to see these on the roads in the US soon. Yeah, we will.